I emailed every Ivy League university and asked them if they would give me, an international student, an application fee waiver. And this is what happened. So my name is Saloni and I'm a biomedical engineer working in upstate New York and I've recently graduated from Cornell University. Have you guys heard of it? Uh, but basically this video we're going to talk about some of the application fee waivers because guess what? I know I made a scholarships playlist for you guys and you guys absolutely crushed it in the comments, likes and you know the views were just through the roof. But a ton of you guys came back saying that even though universities provide these scholarships, the first step is to actually apply to these universities and the application form, $100 each on average can really build up if you're applying to just 10 to 15 universities. So in this video, I'm here to tell you how you can very easily get an application fee waiver. And also the second half of the video, we're gonna talk about some free universities you can apply to and study in the United States. So I've spoken to a ton of you guys through my mentorship programs and just various other platforms. And being a student myself, I know the hassle that it kind of takes on, on you when you're actually applying to these universities. Now, the first step is actually applying. And if you know, you've been following the channel for a while now, you know that you have to have a, a wide spectrum of universities that you apply to, which means your dream universities within reach and your safety colleges. So, you know, 10 to 15, even 20, 25 universities is an easy like number to reach when you're kind of filling and going through these application forms. So this is an easy way for you guys to save money. Now I'm not going to give you a list of universities that offer application fee waivers, but I'm actually going to share how you can literally get a fee waiver from any university. And to do this, I kind of made my own experiment. You can call it being the engineer I am. I formulated a whole like, uh, you know, process that I just wanted to see how it would go. Basically what I did was I post as an international student Student, I had no application form filled out on Common App or, or even like that university's application portal, nothing, zero. There, my name wasn't in their system of, of any sort. I, I didn't even fill out, you know, those info um, forms for a brochure, nothing. I just straight up emailed the admissions office of all eight Ivy Leagues and requested them for an application fee waiver. It was about a paragraph long where I requested them for the waiver, told them which program I was interested in, and in about two or three sentences, told them about my family's uh, financial background and how this would really help me get in and basically achieve my future goals. And that's about it. All eight of them replied, and you would not believe the answer. And I know that you know universities don't put this online publicly, but this is all it took. I got a response from every single university in less than 24 hours and all of them said yes, not a single one declined. Which just goes to tell you that all you really need to do is just ask for that fee waiver. So this is what worked for me. Now I can't guarantee that it'll work for you. And obviously if you just copy this template and say that Saloni told me to you know, reach out and she got a fee waiver, why can't I? You're definitely not gonna get it guys. Like don't spoil the crazy Medusa community and the name. Like, you know, we have high standards. So, you know, mold this in your way and use it appropriately with your background. And I'm sure that, you know, this could be really useful. And just for my experiment, I use this on Ivy Leagues because I just wanted to see what the top tier universities would say and if they would even consider my request. You're free to use this strategy on any university you're applying to. And the last thing I forgot to mention is how did I, you know, pick out who to send this email to? So essentially what I did was I, in my email, I always had uh, two, re uh, two recipients. One was the, just like the college admission department. This is a very generic um, email. You'll, it'll mostly be like admissions at cornell.edu or at harvard.edu, whatever. The second one was my was the department that I was interested in. Now, let's say I was interested in biomedical engineering. So I, I got like the grad administrative office or the biomedical department just to show them like this is a specific department that I'm applying for. So these were the two like email IDs I included. And I would recommend not like including five or six because that's just spam. Like you don't want to be a spammer. Just don't be that guy. <laughs> Let's talk about those free universities I mentioned earlier in the video. So essentially, let I want to like clarify what I mean by the term free because it kind of is very wake and I just want to be very clear. Now by free, I mean zero application fee, which you could get if you watch the first half of this video. And the second aspect to free is your tuition fee essentially 
being nothing or free. Now you would still have your expenses like your living expenses, food that you would have to somehow like cope up with. But I feel like if you get a part-time job on campus, that's not too difficult to accommodate. So let's talk about how and what these free universities are all about. So I know that a ton of these universities that I'm going to talk about may not necessarily be high ranking Ivy League universities. But as we already know, all the Ivy Leagues in some way or another provide scholarships to admitted students. The only downside is that because the competition is just so much and acceptance rate of Ivy Leagues is typically less than 10%, it gets really difficult to, you know, try to compete for that small number of positions. So I'm going to start off with the list here. But before we dive into this, I just want to give you guys a heads up that you may not have necessarily heard of these universities that I'm going to list. And it's fine because to be honest, when I was doing the research for this video, a ton of these universities, I had never heard of them before either. But that's the whole point. You know, if we take a step back from Ivy Leagues and all of these like high achieving universities, there are other universities in the US that are more affordable and that make a lot more financial sense, maybe to someone in in their position, you know. So, you know, let's get started with these universities. And the first one that I want to talk about is Ithaca College itself. Now, I've been living in Ithaca for a while now. And the only thing Ithaca is known for is Cornell University. But did you know that there are two other universities in Ithaca that exist? And they're pretty big, like the campus of Ithaca College is about half the size of Cornell. That's significant. And almost half of the population actually goes to Ithaca College rather than Cornell because not everybody can afford or get admitted into a college with a 7% acceptance rate. And the education at Ithaca College, because it's in the same locality, a ton of the Cornell professors also teach there. The tuition fee is significantly lower. It also offers some financial aid to international students. International students specifically get free applications at Ithaca College. Now, I'm not being promoted by them in any way to say this. The only reason I know all this stuff is because I've been living here and it's just like from people and experience. So, you know, don't think of these universities as lower than anything else. The education that you receive at any university, you're the one who has to put in the effort. You're the one who's learning. As long as you keep up with the current trends in the field that you're interested in, you will be fine. So, you know, you don't have to feel bad that you're going to this university that nobody heard of. So let's get started and let's talk about some other options. So some places that you can consider are the Webb Institute or the City University of New York. Now, these universities, once you're actually accepted, provide a fully funded bachelor's degree. And, you know, there are a ton more universities that I won't go into too much of a detail, but I'm going to leave a Google document in the description of this video. So feel free to check that out. And, you know, as I keep coming across more universities that have a fully funded tuition fee for international students or more than 50% at least, I'll continue to add on to that list. So you guys are also in the loop. So, you know, every now and then feel free to come back to this video to check that um, Excel spreadsheet in the description below because I'll keep updating it and it won't stay those same lists that you see right now. All right, guys. So now my final tip that I like to give you guys at the end of any video is when you're doing your college hunt, the most important thing is to kind of keep your stress levels low and take everything step by step, cut it up, chop it up into pieces and just peel off different layers at once. Don't just look at the whole college admission process at once and just be like, oh my God, this is a lot because it is and it can get really overwhelming. So take it step by step and at every step, you know, watch my videos on how to strategically get application behaviors, talk to professors, apply for scholarships and also check out the mentorship program. So if you want to work with me one on one, you can definitely do that. But other than that, don't forget to check out UniPortal and those 40 of you are you gone or are you still watching this video <laughs> but i hope that you know uh, you checked out their platform because they have some awesome application profiles for you guys to explore subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like what are you doing i'm giving you all of this free stuff the least that you can do is subscribe like this video share it with a couple friends and i'll see you guys in the next one bye